Hey guys, Russ the Ratty Dog, how we all doing today? Hope you guys are doing well. I'm, uh, I'm kind of tired. I'm not just a little tired, I'm very tired. I had a, <sighs> I've been kind of falling back. I've been, uh, hadn't been exercising. I've been working a lot trying to get this course finished. Been staying up till like two o'clock in the morning trying to get, uh, this course finished i'm i'm a kind of a low-tech guy and i'm trying to get support and help and ah uh, just driving myself crazy instead of you know uh giving myself some grace and today i'm just i'm done with it I, i'm so sick of getting off my game and getting off my routine I normally go out walking first thing in the morning after I take my little girl to school. And instead of doing that, I've been in here working on a computer. And uh, you know, I don't sit at a computer, I stand. Uh, I cannot stand sitting down, I just hate it. You know, I just, whenever I stand up, I just like, oh man, I seize up, my hip seize up, because my hips are, my one hip has got some cartilage issues in it. And if I stand I, and move around while I'm working, and uh, I got my desk up on some uh, two drawer file cabinets, took the legs off of it so I could stand up. And uh, I guess, you know, I, <laughs> I guess, and I did that 30 years ago. I guess I kind of invented the Veridesk thing, you know, where you stand up. They have these damn uh, desks now that you can pull up and stand up at. Well, there's my desk. See it there? Two, two drawer file cabinets. I just took the legs off and it stands up. And then I got a little platform here. It's got a padding on it. See there? And I stand at my desk and I got my keypad where it's underneath the, underneath the desktop so I can keep that clear if I'm doing paperwork or whatever. But whew, I tell you what, it's getting kind of tedious standing there the last several days. I've got a desk there too. I got a set down desk right here. I've got a laptop there and I'll sit down there. Every once in a while, I'll just get tired of standing. I'll have to sit down for just a little bit, but I don't. I, I don't. Most time I stand. And then I stand there. And then, and you stand there and you're working and you're concentrating on what you're doing and you just kind of lose track. And, whew, and that's what I've been doing lately. And trying to get this course finalized and finished. The senior fitness fresh start. Instead of jump start, I change it to fresh start. That way seniors know, hey, you don't have to kill yourself like at a jump start, a boot camp type thing. It's it's a fresh start, and we're going to roll into the new year with a fresh start. So it's a much better name, much better title, and uh, feels feels more like what I'm trying to, to bring. But today, guys, I'm disconnecting. I'm done with it. I, I can't get the help I need to get some of the things done. You know, it's it's things that make the, it's the functional stuff that, that has to be done that I'm not good at. I'm not good at it. I don't know how to do it. And the people that uh, know how to do it, uh, I've had some awesome help from guys in the entre community, man. And I, I wanna thank all you guys for helping me. Just, just awesome. But there's some things I have to learn how to do on my own, and I, I just I cannot figure it out, and it's driving me insane. And so I'm just going to disconnect from it. I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to quit messing with it. I just got to take a break. Sometimes, you know, back whenever I was doing heat and air, I'd have a, a troubleshooting call on a on a walk-in freezer, big, you know, millions of dollars in a big walk-in cooler or freezer. And they're losing their product, and you got to get out there and get them fixed, and get to get the stuff frozen or cooled down. And you know, sometimes you just you just can't get something fixed, and you just have to walk away from it. You just got to walk away and get your mind on something else, and then come back to it refreshed. And and then usually the the answer presents itself when you come back refreshed. And uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for a walk. I've got to get back on track with my exercise. Ever since, I hate to even say it, 
the dreaded COVID took me down. I have just kind of been struggling to get back on track. But we have to figure out a way to get back, guys. We're always going to have setbacks. We're always going to have struggles. But one thing I know this. Is if you, hey, man. If you don't reset and keep going, then you can't get past it. You just keep sinking down into your funk. <sighs> Instead of moving forward and... Uh, and they'll take you down. If you do that to yourself, it'll, they'll take you down. And you'll never get past them. So remember that. And when you get down in a funk, get out and go for a walk. Ah, man, it feels good just to get out and forget about that stuff. Look at this day. We got another beautiful, 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 beautiful day. And just gorgeous sky light breeze here we are in december <laughs> and we're setting record high temps we said uh i think we hit 77 yesterday and that uh last time we did that was 19 1946 i think they said we're supposed to set another record today so wow pretty cool anyway Oh, feels good just to get out and stretch my muscles. Ah, I'm gonna do a few isometrics. So I'll put you guys in front of me and do some chest presses. Ah. If y'all don't know what I'm doing, it's isometric. I got my hands, my palms on either side of this phone, and I'm I'm doing a chest press isometric, so. Howdy. But, uh, it's funny, people. I come across people walking and they think I'm filming them. Because I'm holding my phone up here. But anyway, I'm just moseying along. Anyway, chest press, good isometric can't do it while I'm holding you guys but you press your palms get your hand here here's my one hand on this side here's my other hand on this side see in there that's my one place your fingers behind your phone and do a press on either side of your phone and you can feel the muscles in your chest con contracting and hold that you can hold your elbows out or you can hold them down and try to squeeze your elbows together in front of you. See, I've got my elbows in front of me. Squeeze your elbows together in front of you. And squeeze those chest muscles. Hard as you can. Okay. Ooh, that's a pretty good one. You guys try that, I'm telling you. When you see this vid, you see what I did. Use that description and try that and you'll see. You'll get a good, uh, It'll get your muscles in your chest engaging. Get the blood flowing. That's called an isometric. And if you, what you do is you think about that muscle being worked in your head and just concentrate on those muscles while you're doing that. Shoo -wee, it's great exercise. And you're not throwing any weight around. It's just your own body. Type resistance. It's isometrics. You guys need to try them. And I can tell I, I have really struggled, but uh, anyway, I've been trying to get this course going. I've been trying to learn, you know, how to design stuff within the software that we're building the course in. And I'm getting there. It's just slow. It's just slow. It's frustrating. It's very frustrating. I'm not used to, you know, I'm not a tech guy. I, I do, I, I, and I say, I shouldn't say that to myself because that's kind of a negative thought. So I'm learning. I'm learning how to be a good tech guy. So I'll just say that. <laughs> no negative thoughts. No negative thoughts. All positive. I beat COVID's ass. I'll beat this tech issue's 
rear end as well. Whew. Still having whew, some breathing issues, but I'm getting back. I'm getting back. Today, it is Friday. We're having a big party tomorrow. So we're trying to get ready for this big party. It's, if you guys ever played Bunko, it's a dice game. And uh, we'll have probably 30 people over here. We'll play Bunko and have everybody bring some kind of a dish, you know. It's kind of a potluck thing. Everybody brings their favorite foods. And we're going to cook a big old pot of chili. I think my wife already started that today. It's got to simmer for about 30 hours, 24 hours or something. But anyway, that'll be fun. We have to have our family over and all our friends during the holidays. We had a real, we had a beautiful Thanksgiving. I hope all you guys did too. We had a great one. And uh, we're going to enjoy the enjoy our party then we're going to have another party on the 18th that'll be our christmas party we always have a big old uh, group of people over for thanksgiving we play dirty santa and we uh we do a uh, a thing where we it's not dirty santa it's called what's it called it's called uh left right center yeah <laughs> left right center and everybody brings it's kind of fun because somebody gets a pretty good little chunk of change because you bring three five dollar bills and there's everybody plays i mean the whole i bet there's 20 people around the table when we play and uh you go around the everybody puts their money in front of them and then you throw dice and you throw three dice one of them has left on it. Well, the one has it. Ha each dice has left, right, and then a dot. Okay, so you throw the dice. If one lands on right, you give your five dollar bill to the right. If one lands on left, you give the other bill to the left. If it lands on the dot, you got to put it in the middle, into the pot. And you, everybody, go. You go around the table until the until the pot has all the money in it. And you got one person left with a five dollar bill and that's who wins the game it gets pretty intense at the end because you know you got 15 times 20 people God, how much is that shoot i don't even know it's about you know a couple hundred bucks somebody wins you know how to doing that it's, it's a blast. It's a fun game. Boy, it gets, <laughs> it gets pretty crazy at the end. Oh. <laughs> fun game. Then we do Dirty Santa. That's always fun. If you guys play that, that's you put all the presents in the middle and you pick uh, you pick numbers and somebody picks a present and pulls it back and opens it so everybody can see it. Another person comes up and then whenever all the presents are done, then... The first first person gets to look at all the presents and see if he wants to, if he doesn't like his present or likes something better, he can go pick one of the other presents and give that person his. And then the second guy gets to do the same thing. And <laughs> that one can get pretty crazy too. So we have a good time with those games. You guys should try them if you're not doing it. Oh, man. Feels good to get out and walk and forget about that tech stuff for a while. I've been dealing with that. Been up every night and then I then then I can't sleep because I'm laying there tossing and turn about what I need to get done that I hadn't got done yet. <sighs> Frustrating. So anyway, we're gonna walk it out and then I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna exercise. Get some. Get on my weights, my dumbbells. Get some calisthenics in. Get some core workout in. I found I got a new uh, abdominal exercise. It's really good, man. It works these muscles on your sides. It's your obliques. That's what they're called. You know, you got your muscles in here, and I work those with some what I call rocket kicks. You just kick your leg up front and squeeze your core down as you do that. Man, that'll 
works your abdominals big time. But this is an exercise where you do a plank. But for me, I can't do a, a, a plank on the floor. I do an elevated plank. So I'll lean against uh, my bench or my dumbbell rack, you know, so I'm not on the ground. I'm not completely parallel. And then what you do is you just throw your leg up to the side and crunch your side down like that. And it works those oblique muscles where, you know, the spare tire, where the spare tire is. Really works. Excellent. Got me really sore the other day when I did them. I've been, I've done them a couple of times, but I've got to make that part of my, part of my regular routine now. And I've got an ab roller too. And I really like that. I used to be able to do hundreds, hundreds of ab rollers. And I'd, I'd uh, take them all the way out till I was flat to the ground. Now I can barely go halfway. You know, I'm older now, so it takes me a little bit. I'll get back to where I can do them all the way to the ground, or maybe not. As long as I'm doing them, I know my one thing, my abdominals are getting a lot stronger, way stronger. And uh, you guys need to work that core too. Your legs, your core, your abdominal muscles, everything. You need to uh, just keep moving. You know, you can use your own body weight to get a very good, very good workout in. And uh, it'll help you. It'll help you big time as you get older. That's that's part of the course. Is trying to help senior adults to stay active. And, uh, so that's what I'm trying to bring to the you know 55 to 75 year old guys out here who just need to get on some sort of exercise routine that don't want to go to the gym. They want to just be able to do stuff at their house, and that's. That's kind of what I'm doing. I'm showing you how to do exercises. That, so you don't have to go to a gym, be around a bunch of people. You know, it's funny, COVID, of course, has been an issue, but I tell you, even before COVID, I stopped going to the gym because the germs, just think about all the germs. I ended up getting flu. I was hadn't been sick in years. And uh, I started going back to the gym, as a couple, three years ago. I'd get up five o'clock in the morning, go to the gym. And I was doing pretty good. And then I got the dang flu. And I know I got it from that gym because there was a bunch of guys in there that were sick and coughing and sneezing. And, and uh, you know, when you're sweating and you got all those bodily fluids on all the equipment and everything, shoot, that's, that's where you're going to, if you're going to get sick, that's where it's going to be, exchanging all these fluids on the equipment and people sneezing and coughing and sputtering in the, in the gym and breathing in an enclosed space course COVID and then anything else flying around is going to be trapped in there and you're going to get it and I did and uh, <clears throat> anyway I've got a gym at my house not a gym it's my shop it's where I used to do all my work in my previous company and I turned it into my dog house oh or my my man cave I guess but I work there on my uh course and my entre things and you'll see a link to the entre stuff I'm doing that's something you guys need to think about if you have if you have expertise or just life experience like me entre shows you and teaches you how to build an online course and, and you can take your passion your experience and your passion and, and get it out to the world so you can help other people. So cool. And that's what I'm doing. And uh, the message I have is got to move, guys. Got to, for our families and for your own sake and for your own health. You have to move. You have to eat healthier. And this is so, you'll feel so much better. There's so many people that just quit. They just quit on themselves. And I'm one of them. I did it. I gained 100 pounds. I just quit on myself. I'm so busy building my business and not, you know, really, <laughs> really paying attention to what I needed to do to keep myself in shape. And then I struggled big time to get back. And I'm still struggling. But I'm not going to quit. I'm determined. I've got another 30 pounds. I got to get my ultimate goal is to get to 190. And I'm doing it in five pound increments. 
and I try. My goal is about five pounds a month. If I can do that, then I'm, I've got a pretty good pace. And uh, COVID really took me off my game. And uh, I'm slowly building back, but since I started walking again, I have been uh, really, really, really struggling to get back on my game. Halloween took me, that's about when I started feeling uh, more normal, you know, about, that, about Halloween. And I started doing my walks and getting out and being able to do some stuff. And, And then I started eating the Halloween candy, you know, the little mini Kit Kats and Snickers and Hershey bars and geez. Love chocolate. I am a chocoholic like no other. <laughs> I don't know. I'll bet some of you guys are too, right? I love chocolate. I love dark chocolate. Love dark chocolate. So I'd always pick out the special dark Hershey bars, you know. The, the dark moonshade Milky Ways, you know, and all that. So I was a fiend for the dark chocolate. Anyway, I have, uh, I'm back about to where I was pre COVID, 220. So, like I said, I got 30 more pounds to go, guys. I'm just now really getting back on track. And I still do all the exercises within the course that I put together. These are the things that I do daily or I'm getting back to doing daily. Walking is the key first. Whew, I gotta start walking first thing. Set a base by getting out and walking. That's the most important thing. Walk on an elliptical, walk on a treadmill. Wherever you can get your walk in, go to the mall and walk. Do your, uh, you know, uh, when you get into, course is going to show you some body weight and isometrics and other ways you can get a good workout where you don't have to go to the gym. <sighs> you know, I've been so sporadic in my exercise and, and we all do this. Everybody does this. I do it. You're going to do it. You're going to do it. I'm going to do it. And I have done it and I'm in it right now where I have put my exercise and my fitness on a back burner, trying to get some work done. And, and the whole, just so, so not ridiculous. It just, it's life, it's life, right? It happens, but you have to refocus and realize that your health and your fitness, if you don't have that, you, you got nothing. So you have to make your own body, your own fitness, and your own health and your eating habits a number one priority in your life. And everybody gets off, but you have to reset. If you're going to fail, this is something I tell myself, man. If you're going to fail, fail quickly. Reset quickly and get back on track. And if you get into a pattern of doing that, let yourself fail and then don't beat yourself up and just quit. Just keep, just reset, restart, fail quickly and reset and restart. It's so important that we do that. If we don't do that, we end up 100 pounds overweight, <laughs> heart problems, knee surgeries, shoulder surgeries, elbow surgery. You end up with all kinds of stuff like I did. And 26 years later, trying to reset. So I, I'm just, my mindset now is if I fail, I'm going to get back in the saddle. I'm going to kick that pig and get back on track as quickly as I can. That's what I'm doing now. And I tell you what, I, my priorities have been screwed up. I let business get in the way again of my health. So easy to do. You get a mindset that you're going to finish this. You're going to get this task done. You're going to do that campaign. You're going to, you're going to finish developing this new product. 
whatever it happens to be, your priorities have to be set. So you get your yourself taken care of first. You know, it's like that old saying, pay yourself first. Pay yourself first, right? And that's what, uh, that's kind of the same thing. You take care of yourself first. Because if you don't, who else is going to do it? Nobody else can take care of you. Again. Right, guys? So, when you take care of yourself and get your weight down, get your exercise in, you're not only taking care of yourself, you're taking care of your family and your children and your wife because they can rely on you and you can feel better and be able to do things with them for a lot longer when you're in shape and your weight is down. And if you ever do have to have surgery, you're gonna recover from it that much quicker, just like COVID or any other sickness. If you're overweight and out of shape, you know, a flu can take you out. If you're unhealthy, COVID has taken out so many unhealthy people and it's taken out a lot of healthy people too. But if you, you got a better chance of surviving it, if you are healthy, in shape, at a decent weight. Oh man. I've lost several friends lately one very very close friend just recently and she was not in good health and she didn't COVID didn't take her out it was her lifestyle her the way she ate the way she didn't take care of her diabetes the way she should have she just wanted to pump her body full of insulin and eat whatever she wanted to and many times she put herself in the hospital from over insulating over putting too much insulin in her body anticipating she was going to eat you know and it finally finally took its toll she had had a heart open heart surgery anyway i'm not going to go there now i just found out one of the guys one of my subcontractors great guy named tim he he built uh he was a fabricator for us. We had him build a lot of the components for our equipment from the company I used to own, Temco. And um, I found out he just died of COVID. He was about my age. I, I didn't know if he had health issues or not, but uh, I didn't think he did. But he, he passed away in October, I just found out. You know, I'm kind of out of touch with all my subcontractors and and uh, suppliers i've been you know separated from that company for about a little over a year now june july august september about a year and a half now and uh anyway i kind of i have all their emails and i let them know hey man i hope y'all had a good thanksgiving and then i get an email back from somebody that had saw the email to him that he had passed away from covid Alright, enough of that sadness. Enough of the sadness. Guys, I am on my way back. I've been on almost a 30 minute walk and you guys have come along for the entire thing. And I appreciate that. You guys are keeping me company. And you know, when I do these walks and I talk to you guys, it's cathartic. It's very cathartic for me. Therapeutic is another name for it. I get to talk out issues that I'm thinking about and emotions that I'm dealing with, you know, and that, uh, that's so nice to be able to do that. And I know somebody out there is watching this and will get some value out of it and maybe get something that they can take away from it and will help them. And I hope it did. I'm 30 minutes in. I didn't set my Fitbit up. I just went for a walk. I was so frustrated. I had to get away from the computer. I'm not going back to it all day. I'm done with it. I'm going to get help my wife get ready for this party. I've got some Christmas lights to put up. I've got I've got to help her with the, some things up at the house. And I'm just going to leave it alone today and maybe the entire weekend. I don't know if I'm going to mess with it all weekend. I wanted to get this course out this week. But, you know, life got in the way, and it's not going to happen. 
So that's just the way it is. Got to give myself some grace and realize that it's going to get done. I just got to reset, reset, and get back to it fresh after I've had a few days to decompress, I guess is a good term. And I'll start walking and exercising every day until Monday and get myself over the weekend, get myself back on track and uh, reset, fail quickly, move on, reset, get back to my daily routine and my exercise and my diet and my weight goals. And uh, I hope you guys do the same. I am uh, gonna end this vid now with my normal salutation or goodbye and that is look at this beautiful day look at this beautiful day today guys one of a kind one of a kind this breath i'm fixing to take that you're going to take with me take that breath deep breath in and out guess what you're never getting that breath back Remember that, guys. Today, one of a kind. Make it a great one, man. Make it a great day. I'm going to. All right, guys. God bless.